Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for this eye look that I have on today and hopefully it doesn't look too harsh on the camera because honestly um, it's really not this dark. It's actually pretty bright but if you guys can see I just have some green, some blues, a little bit darker blue and of course liquid liner and some highlight. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'm going to be doing it on this eye. So yeah, okay. So the first thing we're going to be using is this NYX eyeshadow base. And this is just a white eyeshadow base. Um, I like it better than the Urban Decay Primer Potion um, for this particular look because it is white and it does kind of um, pop the colors a little bit better than just a neutral base. Or primer, I should say. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then today we're going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Quad. And this is in the um, Colors Inspired. And these are what they look like. Um, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this jumbo eye pencil from NYX. And this is in the color Baby Blue, which just looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to do about um, the middle of my eyelid over this way. And we're just going to do that. And this is also going to be a base for the blue eyeshadow that we use. And it's just going to give it like a really nice pop of color. And just so you guys know, I am wearing um, mascara already because I did go out today and I just didn't want to take it off. So, yeah. If you guys notice that, you know, I am wearing mascara. Okay. So after we put that on, what I'm going to do is take um, one of my e.l.f. brushes, which this is just a regular flat shader brush. And I'm going to be taking this green color right here onto the brush. And I'm going to fill in this inner part of my eye. And we're just going to fill in all the part that we didn't put the blue on. And also bring it over onto the blue. Just to kind of blend out um, that line so it's not so harsh. Okay. And then the next we're going to take is that flat brush one more time. Now we're going to take the lighter blue color and with this we're just going to go ahead and overlap the green and the blue and then just completely go over um, the baby blue eyeliner pencil that we had done. And again um, I put the NYX pencil over it. I put the NYX pencil on my lid first just to give it a more pop of color. And so that's what that looks like. And now what we're going to take is this glitter. Um, it's like a loose glitter. It's green. And I'm just going to take the same brush again and take some of um, what's in the lid. And then I'm just going to put it over the green over here. And this, these are like a little bit bigger sparkles. So it's just going to give um, the green a little bit more power because the blue is, of course, a bit overpowering. And then, whoops. Next what we're going to do is take this domed shader brush and this is one of the Sony Kashuk brushes and we're just going to take this dark color, you guys can see I spilled some of the green, and we're just going to take the dark color here and we're going to work it into the crease and all the way, um, like the entire crease, not just the outer corner, but we're also going to work it up. But just make it so it's not so harsh. Okay. All right. And now to tone it down a bit, what we're going to do is take another fluffy brush, and this is a Sony Kashuk brush, and take the um, lighter color that's in here. And we're just going to go ahead and put that all around the brow bone and overlap some of the blue because, like I said, we don't want it to be too harsh. So we're just going to go ahead and tone it down with that lighter color. And then go ahead and get it in the crease as well. And then just bring it down a little bit under the eye. Just to kind of lighten the look a little bit more. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, the next step, because we're done with all the shadow, is we're going to take a liquid liner, and this is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. And it's just in a um, basic black. And this is how I'm going to do my winged liner, which I am not the best at this, so I do apologize. Liquid liner is just not my thing, but it worked with this look, so. Yeah, 
liquid liner, not my thing. But what we're gonna do now is also take this just, if you see right here, we just take it under about halfway, if not a little bit less, underneath the eyelashes, um, the bottom lash line, and then just connect the two. Just like that. All right, and of course now you could definitely go ahead and put um, your mascara on, but like I said, I already do have mascara on, so I'm not gonna need to do that, but this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, if, I'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys, you can see a little bit, whoop, you can see a little bit more. This is what it looks like. Um, like I said, it is not that harsh. Sorry, I had to zoom out. Yeah, it's not that harsh, really. Um, it just looks a little bit harsh because of the lighting that I have in my room. But the last step that we're going to do is just put um, some blush on, which I'm using this NYX Blush in Rose Garden, which you guys saw in my haul video. And I'm just going to um, put this on my cheeks just to give me a little bit of rosiness. And, da, 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 da. and then we're going to go ahead and put a lip color on. Now because this eye color is so um, vibrant, I'm just going to use a semi-nude lipstick. This is one of the Revlon Lip Butters in Peach Parfait which just looks like this. Okay. And if you guys notice on the lip color, there are like some gold flecks in it. The color goes on pretty sheer, if you guys can see that. Um, it does go on pretty sheer. Hang on, let me move this. Maybe I'll have better lighting. Woo! Sorry. Okay. Like I said, it does go on pretty sheer, but, um, yeah. Oh, I lost my train of thought. It does go on pretty sheer, but it gives, um, nice little gold flecks in the, um, the lip color. So it definitely goes good with the glitter. Like, it brings the glitter together, but it's not too, like, oh my gosh, that woman has, like, so much color on her eyes, so much color on her lips. It's just too overpowering. But yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet, but whatever I do call it, of course, will be the title of this video. But again, we just used the Revlon Color Stay Quad in Inspired, put some cute pink blush on, and this is going to be a perfect look for maybe a nighttime spring look if you're going out to a party or maybe going to the club or just going out to a really nice dinner and you just want to do something different with your look. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Oh, and one more thing. Um, if you see my nails, I don't know if it'll focus on it really well. Let me see. Yeah, if you see my nails, these are um, these zebra ones right here are actually the um, the like applique. I can't think of the, what they're called, but I'll put a link below. Um, and these are the um, zebra appliques as well as the impression pink nails. So I'm just trying them out, and I'll probably do a review on them if I um, really like them. So if you guys are interested, just let me know, and I just kind of um, like transition, not transition, but every other one, you know, kind of goes to. Um, they match, but whatever. I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I do appreciate all the views that I get, and I appreciate all the comments, so definitely leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!